music with Noel Webb. I'm Noel Webb. It's a wonderful night in Los Angeles, July 31st. And this is the beginning of a music supervisor and uh, film and trailer, commercial television music syncing series, beginning with a man I have a great deal of of, uh, respect for from Skip Film, David Lai. We're very happy to have you on. Thank you, David. How are you doing, Noel? Thanks for having me this evening. Really appreciate it. Uh, this is people. This is great. I mean, this this guy is uh, Skip Film, and David is an editor and a music supervisor. Who's this? The, in the film industry, trailers are made by trailer houses. Skip Film is one of them, as well as I'm sure doing lots of other stuff in commercials, and in television, and uh, sports, and video games, and music videos, and broadcasts, and all sorts of stuff. Uh, and he's got some some great trailers to play for us in a minute and talk about. I know a lot of you um, musicians and composers want to talk to him or I chat with me, and we may do that another time. But, uh, David, it's so great to have you here. Thank you. I do appreciate it. So, so, so yeah, I, you know, it, when you asked me to be on the show, I had spent today just thinking about the business and how long I've been in this business. And, and you know, I kind of shed a tear from it because it just kind of just blinked by, you know. It's actually this this month coming up will be – 20 years in this business for me. Wow. So, yeah, wow. That's public, public uh, information now. I'm, a, I'm an old guy in this business officially. So, yes, yes. It's been, it's been quite, quite a nice road, though, with this, with this, uh, with this work and this business. It's, um, you know, something I, I was very gifted to get into and uh, partner up with uh, the right people and meet the right people in this business. And, and uh, I'm, I'm very fortunate to be doing what I, what I love to do. Um, yeah. So So this but, uh, yeah. so you're talking about of course beginning with Outlook Good. <laughs> oh, uh, I got you, didn't I? Oh boy. No, Outlook Good actually. Yeah. Yeah, Outlook Good was a short film me and a, a very old childhood friend of mine had done way back in the day. And no, you it would I started out when I out of high school, I you know, I became a, a disc jockey at my own uh, mobile DJ uh, company. And uh, and I got into that, and then I went from there into nightclub DJing, and then uh, me and my my uh, childhood friend uh, Greg Bendoni, old friend of mine, uh, still friends to this day, were, uh, and uh, we were starting to uh, find out, look into how trailers were made. You know, back then there was no information superhighway; it was pretty much a dirt road out there when it comes to information, and you know we had to try to dig for stuff to try to find out more about this. This fascinating world of, of of trailers because we've always thought they were so amazing and and be cool to explore them and then we even started to draft out like a, a documentary possibly so as we got into it we we found this one company just kept popping up you know in, in the libraries in the microfish library you know looking at those things and and uh, it was a company called Kaleidoscope Films it's an mm-hmm, old company mm-hmm. in Hollywood yeah it's one of the original trailer houses actually the original trailer house officially if you want to look at your archives there there was a, a gentleman that that um opened and 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 started his name was Andy Keane I had the pleasure of meeting and and knowing him for a short period of time uh that uh was a, was a you know he was amazing an amazing individual that that made trailers what they are today and I was fortunate enough to to get a gig there and start there and uh and uh, yeah, it was it was, it was wow, quite the very a journey beginning. Since then. Yeah, that, so what, that was a long was time the, ago. Obviously, what was the first <laughs> uh, <laughs> first trailer? Uh, I guess it would be trailer that sparked your interest. I, I, a lot of people talk about Carmina Burana or Fortuna, um, uh, the Last of the Mohegans, uh, the Matrix Revolution. These kinds of trailers or or uh, sync synced. Uh, visuals that that got people uh, excited about trailers. You, you know, the, actually, you know what? When I look back, the first trailer that I really inspired and and really made my eyes open up was uh, the trailer for actually the teaser for for Alien. Yeah, the very oh, first yeah. teaser for Alien. Yeah, and and yeah. Uh, we'll elaborate a little bit on that, and uh, and and a little bit later when we get into uh, uh, talking about the 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 latest uh, prequel uh, a little bit later. But yes, when I first saw that trailer, uh, there was something about it that I just was like, this there's something going on here. There, that this is not fi- created by the filmmakers or whatever. This is right. this is created by somebody that's 
that's not the filmmakers. It just didn't feel like, you know, because I, the movie was brilliant. It was a great tie-in. It was, you remember, it was like the egg, the egg crack. And oh, the, sure. And that wonderful uh, music that was, uh, that was created for it at, at the time. when I, I was very young at the time, but, you know, at the, I was very, very moved by, by, by seeing that. So, yeah, and that was the point. That was the first I mean, point. The, uh, a trailer is, uh, and this is almost a legal uh, description, it is a, it's a commercial. So you're, you're, commer- yes. you're advertising a film that's about to happen. If those, for those of you who don't know exactly what this is, is in fact, with uh, a payment for the composer, uh, there's, no, there's no what's called back-end of royalty because it's a commercial. There's no ASCAP, BMI, CSAC payment. You get upfront Correct. money, and that's, that's where it sits because it is a commercial. That's what we're talking about here. Absolutely, yes. It, yeah. Most of, most all material that's used within a uh, marketing um, uh, campaign is is it doesn't have any back end on it. It's mm-hmm. you know from the from the narrator to to the music to whatever's in there. It's when it's out, it comes out, it plays for a little while to tell you the movie's coming, and then that's it. Then it goes away, and then right. it becomes part of the archives. So yeah, you know, you're making uh, me think of the key, the key arts award. They are, they have they have this award. I've been to it a number of times. Mm-hmm. Too, I'm sure. Yep. And Skip Film, I know, has won lots of stuff. Where there's mm-hmm. a huge industry. This is a huge industry, people, and uh, uh, and and they give awards out for the what's that call where the the piece of wood that goes that sits in front of theaters, the uh, stand up or something like that. It's attached the, the stand, old school. The standee. Oh, the, the, the standee. standee. Was, so they yeah. actually have they actually have an award for the best standee. Mm-hmm. Uh, That's right. They have an award yeah. for the the post, best poster for the best, uh, and then right. when it comes to the TV spots, it has you know best dramatic TV spot, best horror TV spot. Yeah, they got they've got awards for all that stuff. It's the That's uh, right. so Hollywood I, I know Reporter. I'm, I'm very Hollywood anxious Reporter to get to your films. Art award. Yep. Yes, yes. That's and right. They, the whole they, I'm very anxious to get to your films, but I wanted everyone to understand that uh, So a trailer also, uh, there's a theatrical trailer, there's a TV trailer, there's, there used to be trailers for CD, for C, DVDs, uh, there's foreign trailers, and there's lots of trailers made with different payments and different design. Correct me if I'm wrong, uh, David. No, no, no they, they, they start out with uh, a teaser, which the teaser is uh, usually – just a taste of what you're going to get, and those those are usually they're very sparse. They have a lot of music, a lot of imagery, very little story. You know, some have a little bit of story just to give you an idea of what you're going to expect. And then when you, and then those are usually about a minute, minute and twenty five, you know, ninety seconds. I mean, then then when it becomes a trailer, then you open up the story and all that stuff. You get into the 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 you know. What, the, what you're gonna what you're gonna see you know what the what the what the movie's really about you know mm-hmm. and the teaser usually is more interesting because the teaser really allows you to because you could just do it a lot of stuff you know because you could just put music and just put images and if the movie's got good images and you got a winner right there you know a lot of my my favorite marketing pieces are mostly teasers you know <sighs> So, so yeah, the the, the teaser is is the the very start of of the campaign. Is it the campaign? You know, the, I, the, the I, David, I can't tell you how many things that I want to talk about with you. I, I, I oh, just we, we it's about on. the whole yeah. process of editors. But I want to get to uh, skip film. In fact, now I'm skipping over David Lai and his history so quickly here. <laughs> but uh, I want to get to skip film some of your products. I know that ContactMusic.com was very excited about Wolverine. And before I even continue, you know, I talked to David. I'm talking to everyone else now, David, instead of you. Uh, before. Just to just to talk about what would happen on the show, and he is so into making things right. And I think everybody needs to know that trailers and uh, these things we're calling commercials, which is larger than trailers, are also music videos and commercials, whatever uh, uh, broadcast. They're made by people like David who want things right. They're very fastidious. I don't know if you'd be perfectionist or not, but that's what he was like when we talked. So that's who you're working with: uh, composers and producers, as people like this. Who the guy he called? I said, call it five minutes to eight. He calls it five minutes to eight. You know, there it is. Nobody else does that. Musicians <laughs> don't do that. Let me tell you. So, uh, Wolverine and some of the other trailers you've made. Tell me about them. Yeah, uh, the, we we've we've done some wonderful work uh, here at Skip Film, and you know, we had the pleasure of working for many years with the the late great Tony Scott, and and working with Ridley Scott because. Uh, they they've been really terrific. Um, we've done a lot of stuff for for them and 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 for, I mean a lot of movies. I mean just I mean we I could I could write you a list that would 
take an hour or two just to read if I read it fast. <laughs> but uh, most recently, we had worked on um, uh, well, well. Let's talk about we were talking about Alien. Okay, so let's talk about Prometheus. So uh, Prometheus uh, is um, Ridley Scott's uh, the prequel to Alien. Really wonderful, fantastic campaign for us, and just. Uh, you know, to to reinvent you know the, a franchise that's gone into so many so many films now. You know, but you know with with Ridley stepping back into the driver's seat and getting back into sci-fi, you know, and and we just really wanted to bring something to it that would just you know just wake the audience and say, look, you know, this is Ridley's Ridley's version. This is his. You know, this is the original original man. You know. And uh, the music, you know, was a, was a a big big thing for us to, to get into and find and and uh audio machine uh Paul Dinatier uh Din Din Latier excuse me sorry Paul Paul Din Latier is an amazing composer and and he's uh, uh, over at Audio Machine and and this music in there is just really gave it the life that we needed and the 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 sound design is is also a very very big part of this trailer you know uh, Robert E. Toll and D. S. Wallace and Mark Hanna these are the, all the sound design companies that used to um, put into the trailer and 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 we we put all this stuff together and came up with a, and of course it gets brilliant editing and and all that stuff it just you know just came together it was like magic you know and the sound you hear at the end that that screaming sound is actually that was a throwback and and the the tip of the hat to the original alien teaser that sound that screaming ah, that sound was actually something that we had got from the original teaser i said let's 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 bring this back. What do you think? You know, and then and then the idea was really great and stuck and you know and and it became history and uh, yeah and again it's one of those one of those uh, pieces that uh, people really really got really went nuts over. I had a lot of people talk about this piece when it first was came out. It was just really amazing amazing piece of uh, work for us. Well, nothing, uh, no trailer really speaks more about the concept of elements than that what yes. I just heard. So yes. that uh, uh, mu- uh, music supervisors use that word a lot, elements, uh, because yes. they're not just looking for film composers who write for films and watch actors act and, and, and write for two people kissing and two people running. Uh, it isn't as simple as that. Uh, mm-hmm. and, and in fact, they, that music supervisors, David, uh, will concur, li- likes and loves to, has folders full of, of elements. And you just heard them right there. I mean, there was, at the beginning, there was a big pound, and he has, and he, I guess, has a couple of free favorite pounds uh and uh, and and there you go those are elements yes yes there you know the a trailer has a lot of elements in it to make it what what you're hearing you know and there's a lot going on if you could actually see the the editing timeline you would be amazed by all that stuff that's on there and all of it has a, a place to do something um you know it's that some uh, not not all i mean some there's there's times when there's ones that are very very monotone and quiet and it's just a piece of music and that's all it is uh but there's believe it or not some you you'll you'll be amazed on how much stuff goes within the the audio part of a, a trailer a design actually and when it comes to the audio part of it so yeah well i'm sure in fact pretty, you know pretty, uh, pretty the, <laughs> someone was just calling me today about a uh uh, some a new productions to put on television, and I got to tell you, it would be great to have a documentary to take to, with you to go from the beginning of being handed some kind of production from Universal or wherever it may be, and what do you do with it, and just the back and forth with the editor and the director, and it's a whole life that it is. I'm sure it's well, it's, there's, there's, it's a it's an overall um, uh, collaboration. You know, the, everything within the marketing business is collaboration. You know, I, I'm I'm a, a specialist in my department and my field, but it's all collaborative. You know, I present thoughts and ideas, and everybody interjects, and and you know, those thoughts and ideas spawn more ideas, and that's you know, they're just it's it's a it's an effort. It's a, it's a it's a company effort and a company accomplishment for everything that's done. You know, um, so. Yeah, it's it's not like this person just does this, this person just does that. I mean, I mean, certain people do certain things, but mostly all the stuff that happens is is a collaborative effort. 
you know. So is there, is there a conference table uh, as that you go to pretty frequently with the editors and the and whoever the directors and like that? The, the conference table is in in the room. You know, a lot mm-hmm. of a lot of these decisions because you know you're, you're moving very quickly in this business. It's, it's in, incredibly fast paced. You know, they need stuff turned around really quickly. You know, and I you know I've got to count on composers that you know that have good material right out of the gate. You know, and and the, and stems are incredibly important. Stem is a um, uh, it's it's uh, a, a what the path of what the music is like. If you get the full mix, the stem is just like the brass, or just the drums, or just the choral. You know, and those are incredibly important. The, I think the stems world has gotten really big over the last few years. Some sometimes pieces that have been stemmed out, you know, to ten different stems for one particular piece of music. There might be uh, one or two of those stems that get used a lot, and there might be a full mix that ne- from that stem that may not even see the light of day. People just keep using the drum pass or the horn pass or whatever. It happens when uh, when you because when you do that, it, it gives it a whole new life. I mean, it's a whole new life in itself, you know. And and trailer music is all about having good separation as much as it's as it has good melody. You know, you have, need to have both. So. In realizing that there's separation, you know, when you when you're when you're writing and there's separation, you're you're not thinking that there's that you're not writing something for that for that moment. You got to think about that that moment could be used for editorial. Okay, so sometimes you know a real good composer that does marketing music understands that conceptually, and those are the ones that are writing. What they what they're writing is they got got the melody going and then they got good stops within it. And those stops are what are very essential to the overall piece and what is needed when you get it into an editing room and into a cut. So, so the the composers I work with, I, I have uh, they they send me stuff, some some wonderful music, and I'm my critique generally is to give the editor all you can give him, which you just spoke of. There are stops. Right. There's a variety of things he can cut to, and and the and the the, uh, the operative word here is cutting that he can cut visual yes. and uh, music back and forth the, the same kind of theme perhaps but uh, more suspenseful and more quiet or just right. the percussion of course that would be stems yes. as well but uh, yes. Yes. that he needs that you think of music in, in harmonic or rhythmical terms still as elements even though they really are more of a tune they're mm-hmm. still really Absolutely. elements that he's using so. that's right that's exactly right well let's let's talk about uh another piece well now we'll talk about one with a with a with a piece of uh song actually so let's talk about clash of the titans this is this is one of the one of those times where you just it's magic in a bottle you you you, you find the right song for something and it just fits right in you know this that's the the use burn the worm uh the instrumental version and I, I mean, I literally was sitting on the song for the longest period of time. I mean, that's what happens. Sometimes people give me music, and it's like, you know, it's so good, but you know, it just takes time to find it the right home. And I had this sometimes this years. For, oh yeah, it could. This one, this one actually took a few years. It, you know, and uh, once I, I found it the right home, and and uh, you know, and the editor and I sat down, um, and. And we were going over it, and this editor, uh, Cole Berenger, he's an amazing editor. We we sat down, and we were we were discussing what we were going to do, and I played him this piece of music, and I just knew it was going to work. I was like, really, like, this is this is it, you know? And as and soon as he started working with it, boom, it just it just fit right in like a glove. I mean, it was perfect. It was a great campaign, and uh, and it just, it, it was amazing what it did for even the song itself. People, if you went on YouTube, that's that song just... Went went to number one for people buying it. You know, it just tells you how much advertising pieces could influence the general public because it just uh, it's incredible. It's not just the trailer in the theater anymore. It it uh, it lives on the internet now. That's that's where you'll see it forever. YouTube and all that. That's where it's going to do have its home. You know, so when you when you if you didn't, you're not going to really see it in the theater all the time because not everybody goes to the movies anymore, but. You will always be able to see it on the internet, and this is one of those ones that people just were like, "Wow, this is great." So yeah, again, team collaboration, and and uh, yeah, you know, and there's a lot of sweetening in there. Sweetening is when you you know you put music in, and then you put stuff on top of the music, like drums and cymbal crashes and other things that are musical essentials, and you know, cymbal rolls and all that stuff, and it really brings a lot of weight and size to the to the music. It's all about making music very big 
for trailers. Trailer music is big, big music, you know. But uh, yeah, it's a that's a when you played it back, I heard it for a little while. Is it? <laughs> <crazy>? mm-hmm. Well, boy, <laughs> I, I tell you, if there's one thing that's very obvious, uh, it's that you're so proud of the products you make, and I understand oh, that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and also yeah, exciting yeah. as you sit when you sit with the editor and something clicks. It's very exciting to have that happen. Absolutely, absolutely. So yeah, and most recently we had worked on uh, 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 the Wolverine, uh, which is out in theaters right now. It's the one for Fox, and another. Um, oh, what a, what a great campaign! I mean, we just we just wrapped on that and did a lot of stuff on it. You know, there was a, again, there's a lot of really good stuff we layered on top of it that make it make it feel even bigger you know skip it put a bunch of real great drums on top of it it just it's just that's a great piece you know it's amazing the laying, uh, layering is a big deal too of course layering is big big deal it's big big deal yeah, yeah yeah the layering is just as important as the music itself but you got to have a good so I, I need to ask you a question we we slid on by uh tunes so do you uh you've got other campaigns campaigns besides trailers so do you accept and do you listen to, to actual tunes songs hip-hop rock and uh so oh forth? yeah you i gotta i gotta listen to everything you know i mean you don't never know what what could be out there that, that'll work in something i mean there. You know, there's there's stuff hiding in the, the the darkest corners of the internet when it comes to music, and you, you gotta you gotta find it all. You know, it's it's hard to keep up with all of it, but you know, and you gotta you gotta bookmark a lot of stuff because you find stuff and you got like, oh yeah, well that would be good in this thing or that would be good in this thing or whatever. You know, being in this business all these years, being a, being in, involved in music professionally, you do find the tendency of every time you hear something new, you always figure you always think about where you could put that, not really. You know, the first thing you think is, what can I use that in? You know, so it's kind of like, are you taking away kind of the passion <laughs> of love for the music? David, this so, is yeah, funny because you know? the question I have for you is, do you really ever really purely enjoy music? <laughs> are I, you I, always I listening? Can I use that? Can I use that? <laughs> yeah, I, I still do. I still do. Absolutely. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it and and again, it's 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 just part of the work, and I, and I love it. I love music, so it's it's, it's already already a. a a good thing I'm, you know, uh, blessed enough to be able to, you know, make make a living in this business. But uh, yeah, most recently, the most recent thing we we worked on was uh, Machete Kills, which isn't out yet. Yeah. Some, some inside info here. Yeah, Machete Kills. Robert Rodriguez is next. Uh, um, the sequel to Machete, which we also worked on, uh, and uh, we worked on with Robert, and we uh, uh, you'll be seeing it in front of a, a film coming up. I believe it's Red Two. I'm not sure, but I think that's it's coming out soon. It'll be on the internet soon. And actually, I was uh, fortunate and able enough to to get the the White Stripes uh, Conquest through through this uh, piece and able to get it you know on, onto the piece. And that was that was quite a conquest in itself. I got to tell you. So it uh, I'm very excited actually for. For uh, using the you know, putting the white stripes in, in, in a campaign because it's 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 going to really people are going to really be like wow this is this is pretty amazing it's very suiting for the piece and you'll you'll see how how great it is it you'll, look look on your internet uh, for for the for the link probably in the next uh, couple weeks probably you'll you'll be it'll be online so yeah right, so so you're you're all hearing this for the first time here it's uh, which is which in you know in our world this is very exciting so thank you for delivering that to us we'll be looking for that right away oh yeah uh, yeah and, yeah you know, right. it's, yeah it's each of these films of course is also great that we're that you're advertising so you couldn't get better than that Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, definitely go out. Definitely go out and see Machete Kills. It's amazing. Yeah. And and uh, and if you didn't see Wolverine, go see Wolverine because it, it's really great. Hey. <laughs> it, you know, I've actually sat with music supervisors who then would hear about the the movie not doing well that they just advertised, and oh, yeah, and a lot yeah. of guys they the the trailer folks uh, mm-hmm. suffer for the music, for the film not doing well. So they're advertising this film. That's what's going on. Well, you know, you do your very best. You know, that every everybody there's everybody's doing good work. You know, and there's mm-hmm. there's all 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 the guys out there that are in this business are all trying to make it happen, and they're all yeah. doing it. You know, so there's yeah. it's not like one person's doing it better than another person. Everybody out there is doing good work. We see good work. Mm-hmm. We appreciate it. You know, it's 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 just it's it's great how much <laughs> this business has really grown over over the years. Because when I started, I know. It, it, yeah, it was. 
you know, just a few companies around, you know. And uh, Well, yeah, and, you know, and, even, and I'm even, sure I want everyone to know that I know you uh, as much as I know you, that when you get music from composers, uh, you appreciate it, uh, you know how hard they work. You just said that. So uh, yeah. Yeah. This, this is a, this is a, this is a, 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 a art object that is done by many people in your and composers are one part of this group. So there you go. Absolutely, absolutely. Yep. It's 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 a it's it's a it's a great business, and and I still mm-hmm. love it to the, this day. After twenty years, I'm still you know you know rocking on. I love it. You know. Well, and, we, did, you know, we they, didn't get they, to talk too much about you, uh, and I wanted to talk more <laughs> about you personally. So we're going to do another show. David said we could do yes. that and talk more about composing, uh, because he's interested in helping people and helping the whole trailer uh, work better. So David Lai, thank you very much from Skill Film for being with us. Next week is Vaughn Kebler from Paramount Studios next Wednesday. Uh, David, thank you very much for coming. Thank you, so, Noel, for having me. Appreciate it. You're, okay. You're very okay, welcome. Bye-bye. 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 Expand Music with Noel Webb. See you next Wednesday. Thank David Lai and Skip Film. See you next week. the next move's going to be made, so we listen, we watch the news, the tunes, the gaga, the report, the seaport, the speed song, clothes she wears. What clues can we shuffle through to keep from drowning too much, man? I can tell that you really need to grow, you really need to grow. Well, what you really need is to grow, you need to grow. I got news. Nothing's gonna be new to you, but soon from behind on the latest lawsuit to cover all bases. Cause the New York Yankees make me, sank me. Coldplay tells me what to do. I'm thinking for yourself. But if they don't, they won't, they don't, they won't, they can't. You can't see where you're standing in the crowd, but you really can't see where you're walking in the world, baby. Walk, man, walk. See where you run by yourself, yourself. Can't see where you're walking in the world, baby. Walk, man, walk. 